for joining us. First up tonight, the search for Brittany Drexel continues, and investigators admit that the search is becoming a little bit more hopeless with each passing day. Several leads in recent days have led to Georgetown County. That includes one today near the South Santee River, which separates Georgetown and Charleston counties. However, none of those leads have led to Brittany. And just yesterday, police released still images from an Ocean Boulevard hotel's lobby taken Saturday night of Brittany Drexel. Those are the last known images of the young woman. News 13 Jody Barr joins us now live with the latest on the investigation in tonight's top story. Jody. Well, Nikki, Myrtle Beach police investigators say as far as any new evidence, they're no closer to finding Brittany Drexel tonight. Earlier this week, investigators traced Drexel's cell signal to Georgetown County. That's the last sign of Brittany investigators have had. Brittany's mom identified her as being the, the woman in that video last night. Any uh, new leads coming from that video, or is it kind of, it is what it is? Uh, we're getting a number of phone calls, but most of them turning out to be dead ends. For five days, Myrtle Beach police continued to work to try and figure out where Brittany Drexel went when she walked out of this resort lobby Saturday night. Investigators spent days interviewing the group Brittany stayed with at the Bar Harbor Hotel. Now the clues, police say, are running out. Is the trail for lack of a better term, growing cold now? Well, I wouldn't say that it's it's growing cold, but, you know, it's as days go on, we're getting uh, fewer and fewer calls, and, and it's certainly making things difficult. The longer it goes, the, it makes it tougher in the fact that it widens the scope of where she could be. As Brittany's family continues their own search for answers, investigators say with the limited clues in this case, no lead will go unchecked. If this is a person, and I'm not saying it is, but if this is a person that does not want to be found, it, it can be difficult. They can stay inside all the time. They, they could be out of the city already. They could be out of state for all we know. There's nothing to, to lean us in any different direction right now. Well, right now, investigators with the Georgetown and Charleston County Sheriff's Offices, along with the Myrtle Beach Police Department, are searching the Santee River in Georgetown County. We just found out that search crews with the Q Center out of Wilmington, North Carolina, the same group who found bones to believe believed to belong to Alice Donovan back in January, are using cadaver dogs to help with the search tonight. This is the area investigators say Brittany's cell phone was used shortly after she went missing over the weekend. When we get the details on this latest search, we'll pass those along to you. Bob. All right, thanks a lot. News 13's Jody Barr.